Hello from Etsy 2022. I'm here with Gregor Van Zettel, an energy expert from Energy Communities. Hi Gregor, and thank you so much for being hey, here. It's a pleasure to be here. So could you please explain a little bit what Energy Communities is, what the work that you guys do is, and what are your main focus points? Mm -hmm. So the Energy Community Secretariat is an international organization based in Vienna. Um, we have our contracting parties, so in the Balkan region and uh, Moldova, Ukraine and Georgia. And together with um, our contracting parties we are performing um, energy market reforms. More precisely, we are trying to deploy the third energy package, mm -hmm. the European package in these countries to um, reform the markets, to bring them closer to Europe and um, to integrate the markets together um, with a long term renewable perspective, but also the security of supply of gas is important. And um, we are working with the contracting parties since 15 years already. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there's a lot of work to do and uh, it's a very interesting environment to work in. You mentioned that there is a lot of work to do. Uh, I would like to ask you, can you identify for us a couple of, let's say, uh, difficulties that, uh, or peculiarities that this particular uh, markets have mm -hmm. compared to the Western, mm -hmm. let's say, uh, markets? So it's very diverse. For example, mm -hmm. Georgia is uh, not directly connected to any other European country. Um, mm -hmm. It is kind of supplied from Azerbaijan and yeah. then the next neighboring country is Turkey. Also the transit flows are going through Georgia. So this is a particular case because you, you still deploy the European um, kind of regulations there, but it is a very specified market. Then you have countries like Ukraine um, where the topic is at the moment uh, really difficult due to the war mm -hmm. with Russia. Um, and Ukraine did um, really an amazing job in reforming its electricity and gas markets, setting up exchanges. Mm -hmm. um, now you saw that um, actually the integration with NSOE happened where we strongly supported Ukraine even during these hard days mm -hmm. to become part of the European electricity system. Uh, the gas market was already diversified and liberalized and Ukraine stopped actually buying Russian gas um, since 2014 and it was supplied from Western Europe. And of course to make this happen you need to have regulations in place, uh, you need to closely work with the regulators and, um, and this is basically the scope we are following. And in the Balkan region you have again a different situation. You have countries in electricity production also relying a lot on coal. Yeah. There we have many initiatives um, to enhance also renewable energy production. And of course we work with the countries in order to increase um, you know, the security of supply of the energy systems in general, which is at these days becoming even more complicated. Moldova, for example, is also a very special case um, because it has uh, the Transnistrian region in it, it is connected to Ukraine, um, but it's still completely uh, supplied by Russian gas. Mm -hmm. And there are also diversification perspectives now happening in order to diversify the market, add again, uh, security of supply in a sense of um, trying to find new suppliers which might be more reliable and um, we are there helping them on the legal environment but also we are always there for our contracting parties to support them in, in specific projects and um, <clears throat> at the moment because I'm a gas expert mm -hmm. at the Energy Community Secretariat so I focus on, on gas issues mm -hmm. And I have formerly worked for the European Energy Exchange, where I was kind of business developer and was developing gas exchange trading um, actually all over the world. And um, we have a project which is called Seagas. And uh, here we are trying to enhance the interconnectivity of the regional markets. And here it starts actually, uh, it started with a memorandum of understanding. Mm -hmm between the TSOs in the region and the operating gas exchanges in the region. And in the end, uh, the gas exchange in Austria, the Polish TSO and the gas exchange, the gas exchange in Ukraine and the TSO, 
the Moldovan uh, stakeholders, Bulgaria, Romania and Greece, they signed the CIGAS Memorandum no. of Understanding that they want to work together in order to increase um, also trading perspectives, which is for this conference I think very yeah. important that we show that the markets are opening up, that the traders can rely on a stable legal framework and that the markets which are set up in this region are becoming more harmonized, closer to each other, that the operations on the markets um, is becoming more efficient and um, that actually the business environment can add uh, a layer of uh, actually the security of supply discussion. And here one important element is actually the Trans-Balkan pipeline, yeah. which was used formerly um, by Russia to supply the whole region and which is kind of empty and not used anymore. So you have in the end infrastructure in that region which is already built and which can be now uh, used in a new perspective. So mm -hmm. not north to south, but south but to north. South to north yeah. And this is what we are trying to develop um, with the whole community together. Um, it started two years ago. We had SIGA stakeholder meetings where we just invited the trading environment, the exchanges and the TSOs to have a discussion about what is missing in that region, what is working well, what is not working, what do we have to do. Um, we also had colleagues from Turkey joining, which is a very important uh, part actually in mm -hmm. this picture because Turkey can still play an important role and enhance the security of supply, especially in the Balkans and also in Southeast Europe. Okay. So um, this is what we are trying to develop together. And another important element is that uh, you saw now in recent times that Bulgaria was also cut off Russian gas exactly. supplies. Exactly. This is something I wanted to ask you because, and excuse me for interrupting no, you, okay. but uh, Yes, uh, Bulgaria has been excluded from Russian gas. I also happen to know, because I am from the Balkans myself, uh, that uh, the Balkans are heavily um, dependent uh, on Russia. So, yes, I wanted to ask you, how do you tackle this issue? Mm -hmm. It's not only the infrastructure, it's not only uh, the, the, the power generation or the supply, it's actually the people mm -hmm. themselves that you need to convince, I think, or explain to them why perhaps they need to look yes. elsewhere. And this is exactly a good question. When we started this initiative, no one, I think, really thought about the war. Mm -hmm. So it was maybe mingling in the environment that there might be a, a bigger yeah. conflict, but no one was really believing it. And of course, then it was difficult to convince the stakeholders that they really should work hard in order to allow this diversified route uh, to work efficiently yeah. because supplies were stable, gas prices were cheap at that time, so why should we bother? Um, still the stakeholders agreed to work together and to look into this topic, so we also produced the first report with, uh, which I can recommend you to, uh, to have a look on our website because it mm -hmm. introduced the initiative quite well and it gives also a first snapshot on each country uh, which is working with us and explains a bit the gas market setup, um, the exchanges which are operated there, the volumes which are traded there. So it gives a good good blink. And now, of course, in this reality, mm -hmm. uh, you see that it's really the statement now or never. So you have actually already no other opportunity than to try to find new gas sources. And here especially Greece is playing a super mm -hmm. important role with the LNG terminals they have in place. Also with IGB, the pipeline which mm -hmm. is coming online, um, adding additional capacity in the region. So from a physical side, from the pipeline infrastructure which is there, you have the possibility to diversify uh, actually even the whole consumption of that region. Yeah. And now we need to work on improving the business environment that actually the shippers, so the suppliers, are coming to that region, are buying this LNG, are shipping this LNG through the different countries and releasing it. Uh, you know, you buy LNG in Greece, bring it up to Bulgaria, release some volumes there, mm -hmm. bring it up to Romania, release some volumes there. 
And from Romania, you can even supply Moldova. So there is yeah. uh, West Mall Transgas, the infrastructure is there, the molecules are not flowing. And this is mostly, so the devil is always in the details. This is mostly due to the fact that some contractual arrangements are a bit diverting from the standards um, Western European yes. traders are used to. On some exchanges, clearing houses are missing, uh, like in Bulgaria. Um, this is a thing we are trying to tackle. So under this initiative, we have many little dots which we are trying to improve. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, the most positive part is that most of the stakeholders are really actively working on that and are looking to find solutions for this. And as I mentioned, so it's not any more kind of a luxury to have a diversified energy market. It's a must have, mm. because with this situation, with the war ongoing uh, in Ukraine, with this cruelty which is happening there, I think it's really difficult to just justify and say, we keep business as usual and are yes. being supplied by, by Gazprom because obviously you're not getting supplied by Gazprom mm -hmm. like the Bulgarian case is showing. Mm -hmm. And now they have really to move and, um, and to find solutions. And the good thing is also that the European Commission is strongly looking into this. They have started um, a task force, mm -hmm. so a South East European task force, which is exactly adding an additional support to what we were looking in the SIGAS initiative and this gives us uh, even more strength and just as some examples, an yes. interconnection agreement between Turkey and Bulgaria, mm -hmm. um, an interconnection agreement between also Turkey and Greece, North Macedonia and Bulgaria, these things are still not in place. Yes. And um, we ask ourselves why? Well, but I would the say the, pol the political situation exactly, also exactly. plays a role. So, so the things we are working, especially at the Energy Community Secretariat, are always um, politically yeah. sensitive. So you need, on the one hand, to understand the technical details and the economic environment, but you also need to have the competence to understand the political and geopolitical background exactly. in the region and the history of the region. So. Yeah. Um, this is how we are yeah, trying to move ahead. We will have a next SIGAS uh, steering committee meeting in end of June, so the 30th of June and 1st Excellent. of July. It's now an extraordinary meeting. Normally only the signatories of the MOU are meeting and mm -hmm. are discussing the next actions. But due to the crisis, we opened the scope and invited uh, stakeholders like ENSOC, ACER, oh, nice. AFED, EBRD, mm -hmm. uh, USAID, and together we are sitting at the round table and are trying, uh, Botas was last time uh, with us and actually announced that the fifth FSRU terminal can be used for European news. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of work ahead and um, we are trying to do our best that uh, <laughs> we will come more or less secure through the winter in that region. Exactly. And then we need to, to really look ahead how it will go, but LNG will play a, a very, very important role um, in this picture. Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, good work ahead for you. We're wishing you the best, you. and especially for people in in the the regions and the areas you are covering. I think it's very, very important to to get all the help uh, that you can give them. <laughs> thank you very much Thanks for uh, being here with me today. It's a great pleasure. And thank you all for watching us. Thanks.